Okay, next I'm going to build out our handlebars pages. These are the front end that we're going to need to display all of our information. We set up our main handlebars layout right here, so we need to set that up. Let's go new file. And I'm going to put my footer and my nav in a partials folder. And I'm going to make a nav folder here, our navigation. Okay. And now in the root of the views folder. and comments or index actually okay we're going to begin with our main handlebars page which is basically the root template for all the others. And uh, in this project, I'm going to go ahead and use Materialize, start connecting some uh, fonts from Google, set up my navbar display and the body stuff in handlebar. This is all HTML. In the body, let's go ahead and set up some handlebars here. Okay, I'm going to start getting my CDNs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get some scripts that I need as well. And within these brackets here, I'm going to set up a div. Okay, I believe this file is ready and ready to go. Let's create our partials. I'm going to go ahead and start with our navbar area. Copy and paste some HTML for sake of time. And you don't need all the HTML because these are partials. So I've created a nav holder that has a class within it of nav wrapper top nav and this is our branding area and it also has our path for the scraping in our route that we'll be using and also a little advertisement so let's go ahead and save that next we're going to do our footer select it from here so you can see it 
And this is our footer code for our partial. Save that and save all. We're also using the top nav class here because I'm uh, coloring everything the same. And this is just a basic footer. So now we have our main, our footer, and our nav area for our views ready to go. Let's get our article and index ready, and then we can move on to start creating our routes. Okay, let's set up our index handlebars now. So I'm going to copy and paste. This is our index handlebars. And all of these classes are materialized friendly and gives instructions to scrape the articles. So let's save that. Now I need to add our handlebars connection for each article. And I'm going to give this an ID. That will equal a button. Let's save that. index is ready all right the last of the handlebars to make is the articles handlebars so we have our main our partials of footer and nav bar and we have our index so now we need our drill down which is from the index uh, when a person wants to look at an article we need to populate the article handlebars with that particular article information and add an area for the user to leave a comment. And next we need to add our form which will uh, handle our post requests and use the article ID. And I'm going to copy and paste some input fields uh, that I've already prepared. All right, this is the name input field. Next is the comment. OK, 
Okay, now underneath this row, we're going to add another row within the form tags. With the class of input field, and it's a submit button, which will activate the form. And next I'm going to add another row. And we're going to put our content within this eight column, eight space column here. So we have the if handlebars, and within that we have the each, and within that each we have the name and the body for the comments. So let's save this page. And this completes our handlebars area, our views area. Let's save that. Start creating our routes.